Yeah, something's coming. All right, so it's about time to give you guys an update on the Shop S2000. Uh, we've had this for about two years and it used to belong to my good friend Chaz. It then made its way over to my friend Billy and then eventually uh, fell into my hands. So this car, you know, I have lucky enough to be able to jump between the Type R and the NSX, but every single time I get into it, I'm reminded as to why it's so special. It's such a wonderful driver's car. And the mods that we put on the car have just accentuated that, right? So we have KWV3s for suspension. We've also put Bride Stradia 2 Venus Edition for the driver's seat and a Momo Mod 78 330mm steering wheel to kind of uh, bring that cabin together. And then we've also put a Amuse Titanium catback system and uh, sounds great. Kind of brings the driving experience up a little bit with some noise from the motor, but uh, we're not done yet. We're gonna add a few, mo few more parts and that's what we're gonna show you guys today. All right, let's see what we got. You know, when I uh, started this whole thing, the idea of being able to modify the cars and unbox shit like this, this is, uh, this is the dream, man. Even at the shop, even at the meet that we went to with the S2000 guys, when I met up, met up with them, uh, they were like, yo, you're living the dream. And I'm like, you know what? I am. This, this, is, what, this is what I was, uh, all the hard work and sacrifices for, right? All right, so we have a Voltex front bumper. And this is with the carbon lip. This is the street version. So it doesn't come with the massive front splitter. Uh, this is the first piece to uh, the puzzle for the front end of the AS2000. All right, let's see this next piece. So, this is an ASM fiberglass hood. Um, I really like it because it's super clean. It has just this one nice line for the vent and a, a little bulge here. All right, third and fourth piece. We have some fenders. is an ASM wide fender. Uh, you have the vent here and then a hole for the side marker, but these are a little bit wider than the OEM fenders. And then we got the driver's side. All right, give you guys a good look at where the vent is. This is where the side marker and then uh, and of course you have the ASM label right there. Okay, fifth piece. I guess you can say fifth and sixth. So these just came in recently. Pretty excited for this. As you can tell from the box, Voltex. I remember seeing these on Hector's S2000. Hector has a red one that's uh, out of California. Really, really amazing build. And as soon as I saw these side skirts, I was like, yeah, those are the ones. It flows so nicely with the front bumper. And uh, I think it's gonna look sick. Hopefully. You know, Cause a big part of modifying cars is uh, experimenting. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. 
but that's the that's where all the fun is. What I've really been impressed with is the way Voltex and ASM pack their their, their parts. It's just done beautifully. Smells like resin. Smells like JDM. <laughs> We're definitely gonna be protecting this with some PPF, that's for sure. Not sure if that was the right or left one, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Right side, left side, driver's side. All right, time for the seventh piece. Okay. Another ASM piece. This is just going to be trunk spoiler. Fiberglass. All right, number eight. We just recently put a big wing on the Type R, the Varus wing, so, you know, couldn't leave the S2000 out of the big wing gang. I remember seeing this, this swan neck Voltex wing on Jackie's S2000 back when he was building his car and yeah. yeah. We're going to the, uh, still the same piece but the end plates for the wing. I think these are the trunk supports that go underneath the trunk, I believe. Yeah, must be it. And the end plates. These are probably some of the biggest end plates I've ever had on a car. Hope it's not too much. Okay, and now the center foil. I believe it's uh, 100, 1,600 millimeters. I could be wrong. We picked this size because we're not gonna put flares on the car. Hopefully it suits. Yeah. There's something about GT wings. When it's done right, when it flows with the theme of the car, it just looks so good. All you have to do is just look at what Porsche is doing with their GT3 RSs and you know that uh, it can be done. But the details matter. Ooh, that's so... A lot of girth on this one. So I think it's mounted like this, and then the uprights will go over top. My first uh, swan neck Voltex wing. And the final piece. For now. Because uh, we're still waiting for wheels and the hard top. and a diffuser, yeah. But since that's probably gonna take another year to come, uh, we've already waited a year, but I think uh, production is starting up again for the Mugen hardtop.
And then we have an ASM rib bumper. Love how the vents are very uh, inspired by the 997 GT3. All right, so these are the parts that are gonna be going on the S2000. We have a few more in the way, but in the meantime, we're gonna be uh, doing a little color change project to the S2000. We originally thought about painting it, but I'm kind of tired of the silver and we're not going to use vinyl because Steck has a designer film that is also a PPF as well. So you have the thickness of a PPF, 8 mil. You have the self-healing hydrophobic top coat and it looks great. So we're going to be experimenting on this car to see how it's going to look with that film. So if you guys have a guess as to what color that might be, comment down below. And uh, we're excited to kind of review it with you guys in the next video. So we'll see you later.